Hi guys, today I'll teach you how to use if else condition inside bound field column of ASP.NET Grid View. So let's begin by adding the Grid View control. The auto generate columns property is set to false. Also, I am adding on row data bound event to the grid view. The on row data bound event will be used for modifying the values of the columns on runtime. Here I am adding three bound field columns. ID. Name. And status here the status column will be actually modified during runtime inside the on row data bound event handler so let's move to the code behind here I'll start with adding the namespace for the data table The grid view will be bound inside the page load event inside the notice post back condition. Since this article is not related to database, I am using a temporary dynamic data table. I am adding the three columns, namely the ID, name, and status. Now I'll add some rows to the data table. As you can see in the status column, I've entered the values A and P. A stands for absent and P stands for present and inside the row data bound event handler will actually match these conditions and based on whether it is A or P will change the values to absent and present. I am creating the on row data bound event handler. Now I am adding the condition to check whether the row is actually a data row or a header row or a footer row. 
that's required because otherwise you will land into an error. Now the status column will be referenced using the index. Index 2 refers to the third column. The first column starts from 0, 1 and 2. Now we are checking the text of the status column, whether it is A or B. And if it is A, then the value will be updated with the word absent. This is actually helpful when in database instead of storing this text value, you can actually store this particular codes A and P. Also when we are having multiple languages in our application, that time we can replace the codes with the appropriate language words. Now if it is P, the status column will be updated with text value present. That's it. Now let's run and see it in action. So as you can see, the status column is now showing actual text values absent and present. So hope you like the video, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.